In advertising industry, people often use remarketing and retargeting in the same way. And a lot of contribution for this particular confusion can be allotted to some of the major ad platforms like Google Ads and Facebook Ads. So do you know that there is a substantial difference between remarketing and retargeting, especially in terms of their objective and the type of channels that are being used for these particular strategies. So in this video, we'll put some light on this concept and we'll try to understand the basic difference between both the strategies. So without wasting further time, let's get started. So as far as remarketing and retargeting is concerned, both of them are having some similarities also. And the similarities are like both of them target audiences uh, who are more likely to convert. And uh, both of them keep your brand at the top of mind of the interested audiences. I'll go into the details in the coming slides and you will understand why these similarities do exist between both of these particular strategies. So, and what are the differences? As far as differences are concerned, they are majorly in the type of channels that these strategies use and their main objective. So let us understand the basic difference between retargeting and remarketing. Retargeting is more focused on the online ads. So basically when a person comes to a website and does any interaction like you know they click on a button on a website they watch a video they do whatever do things they are doing you can retarget them with a particular ad right and what is remarketing so remarketing basically involves those strategies which you know help you in re-engaging people or consumers who have already purchased from your company so basically you are targeting those people who are already your customers, right? So what is the basic difference that we have understood here that in both the strategies, we are targeting the warm audience. Okay. And we all know that warm audience is quite easy to target or quite easy to convert as compared to the cold audience, right? So this is a major difference. This is the basic difference between remarketing and retargeting. Now the different actions that people can take on your website can be like they can click on your business website, they can view a particular page, uh, they can view a particular video or they can add a particular product, uh, you know, in their cart, right? So anything they can do on your website and you can retarget them through particular ads. What is remarketing? Remarketing basically involves reaching out to those people who are already your customers. So how will you reach them? You can reach them by sending them an email with a coupon code or suppose they have got their birthday and you are sending them an email with a particular discount code or deal code. Then that is where you are re-engaging them. You are making them re-engage with your brand. Okay. And you are showing your customers related products. So suppose if a person has purchased something from your website and you are remarketing them. Uh, through email that okay like we have got these particular products also like they have purchased for example if they have purchased shoes then you can show them belts and uh, socks also you can show them different uh, accessories so this will help you in you know increasing the lifetime value of that particular customer so you can if you are into uh, SaaS, so you can remind them to renew a particular subscription also and basically in all these things, what we are doing is we are trying to keep our brand in their mind and we are trying to increase the LTV, which is lifetime value of a particular customer. So basically what we have discussed in the previous slide, it's the summary of that, that retargeting is helping you in increasing the PPC ROI. Now, how you are increasing the PPC ROI? Now, we all know that like most of the people convert in second or third time right sometimes they do not convert and become your customers in the first time so suppose they have seen first ad okay and now they haven't converted but what you're doing is you are showing them your second ad you're showing them them th your third ad so what you're doing is you are trying to uh, you know suppose if they convert in this third ad okay after seeing your third ad they are you know they have converted so what you have done is that you are whatever 
budget you have placed for your ppc campaign you have you are able to get an roi return on investment on that particular ppc budget okay and as far as remarketing is is concerned then you are engaging your existing customers your ex your existing customers via emails in order, in order to keep them engaged with your brand and you are motivating them to buy so what this particular do is it, it it is increasing the lifetime value life lifetime value is ltv so the major thing that we need to understand here is that that our aim should not be to bring a person to our website and making them our customer for one time but it should be to make them buy more from our website to make them buy more of our product and services and in this way we increase their lifetime value this is where the gold mine is okay so this is the gold mine right so let's move to the next slide so if we talk about the engagement then retargeting campaigns almost always uh, they show a higher engagement they show a higher engagement and there is a reason behind that because you are hitting them multiple times with multiple ad creatives okay so if they are not converting in first ad they are converting in second third fourth or fifth ad so basically the engagement thing here is little higher than remarketing and remarketing sometimes you know people uh, consider as the traditional examples of marketing or remarketing but in my opinion both of them work good for you if you are using them in the right way so this thing we have already discussed that retargeting focus more on the paid ads and remarketing focus more on the email campaign now it's naturally understood that like when we target our customers then we have got a very narrow uh, audience because you know they are there are limited customers and when we target or retarget people through retargeting then we have got a broad range of individuals because we are targeting we are retargeting people who have just shown us interest in our brand right so naturally they would be broad in numbers as compared to the customers who have already purchased from us now as far as interactions are concerned for retargeting then it can be on site in interactions or off site interaction as the name suggests then on site interaction is where you know they are interacting on your website right so like i told you that like uh, we can play with the cookie thing we can retarget them because they are doing whatever things they are doing whether it's clicking a button whether it's you know uh, 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 watching a video or whatever actions they are taking on your website they are taking it them uh you know on your website and you have got full control of your website so basically you can retarget them anytime but as compared to them there are off site in interactions also so these days like people suppose you have uh, put up a good post on facebook and a person sees your particular post on facebook and they are interested in your brand but they haven't come to your website but they have shown some interest they have you know liked your post or put a comment on your on your particular post so what will you do to retarget them so nowadays all these major ad platforms they have got this particular feature where you can create custom audiences based on the actions people have taken on their platform right so like here you can see there are you can you know under custom audiences you can use the facebook resources here facebook sources here so in this way you can you know uh, uh target people retarget people who have watched a video who have filled your form or who have you know done any kind of shopping or events they have done so all these things all these actions if they even if they have taken on facebook you can retarget them now you will ask me that like what happens like if a person has taken an action on uh, other platform and we want to remarket them right so we can remarket via paid ads also right so when an email list is uploaded the platform will then work to match those email addresses with user logins so facebook here provides us a way and even google provides us a way to upload the email list that we are already having so we can use those particular emails uh, email list for uh, retargeting or remarketing people
So I hope that you would have got a better understanding about the basic difference between remarketing and retargeting. Let me summarize the uh, discussion here. So basically retargeting is when you are, when people are taking action on your website and you are trying to retarget them through paid ad campaigns and remarketing is when people have already purchased from your website uh, your product or services and you are trying to upsell cross sell them by giving them offers by giving them discount deals you are trying to re-engage them with your brand so this is the basic difference between remarketing and retargeting although in normal terms People use them in the same way, but if you want to become an expert in digital marketing industry, then you must know the difference between both. I hope that you found something new in this video today. And if you like this video, do let me know by leaving a comment and I'll try to bring more such videos on you know these interesting topics related to the marketing industry. So thank you for being with me. Take care.